very good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my topic for today is bumpy roads to fail DC are made smooth. No financial relationship to DCI. Uh, as published in various journals, success rate of external DCI is 85 to 97 percent. In spite of excellent success rate, there are a large number of cases with fa failure, typically due to these, but typically due to these. Uh, 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 these causes. Uh, the aim of this study is to assess the success rate of repeat DCR by a small changes in surgical steps. And the, this is a prospective, uncontrolled, and interventional study consisting of 134 patients of failed DCR. From March 2011 to March 2021, all the surgeries done by single surgeons to minimize the outcome, of bias, uh, outcome bias of the surgical experience. And persistence of ep with a regurgitation of pus or tear in uh, pressing lacrimal psych area after at least six months of primary procedure was the inclusion criteria for this study. And the incision were made on the previous surgical scar and intervening fibrose, fibrose tissue were excised. And uh, roughly one to uh, one to two mm of the lacrimal sac around common canaliculi was shaved because it is always difficult to get sufficient flaps for mucosal anastomosis and repeat surgeries. So that the sac remains as a dish with a punctum in its middle, similar to a funnel. And uh, 10 mm of rugaj bone trephine was used here to make osteum in nasal bone and nasal mucosa. And the remaining entire part of the sac was sutured with the subcutaneous tissue and periosteum with the medial side. And the skin was opposed and on the fifth post-operative day, syringing of 1 ml of 0.4 mg per ml. Of mitomycin is uh, in a syringe in newly formed passes, and these all cases were followed up for one year. And uh, this is the nasal endoscopy after one year. And uh, here you can say clearly, uh, clearly, uh, nasal ostium. Um, all the cases were followed up on fifth day, one month, three months, six months, and one year postoperatively. And each, each visit, the surgical outcome was assessed anatomically and functionally based on the records from the last visit. And the result of 134 patients over 10 years, that is the 131 patients were successful at the end of mean follow-up period, that is 12 months, and two patients complained of pp 4 of a grade two or more, and uh, STKI despite successful syringing and patent newly formed passes, uh, maybe due to uh, physiological causes, and uh, one patient failed in syringing. That's our anatomical success rate in repeat DCR is 99.2%, and functional success rate is 97.7%. And the further comparison of this study with previously published uh, studies, uh, meta-analysis were performed using MedCalc software. And uh, this is the comparison of the success rate with published uh, studies with mine study. Uh, th this is forest plot depict the study of who it all point, uh, can be source of heterogeneity. And uh, on meta-analysis of success rate showing significant heterogeneity and the p-value for my study is, uh, less than 0 0.0001 per 001, that is very much significant. And uh, this is funnel plot and symmetrical plot suggest absence of bias. And we conceptualize this method to overcome the problem and make the repeat DCR surgery easy to perform with successful result with a short learning curve. And changes which made our use of Arugaj bone trephine, approximately 1 mm to 2 mm the lacrimal sac was shaved around the common internal opening. And uh, 1 ml of 0.4 milligram per ml mitomycin syringing in newly formed passes on the fifth post-operative day. And uh, we use 0.4 milligram uh, mitomycin C because uh, on the safest and most effective dose of mitomycin C is somewhere between 0.2 milligram per ml to 0.4 milligram per ml. And uh, we used 1 ml of 0.4 milligram per ml mitomycin syringing on fifth post-operative day so that the antifibrogenic property of mitomycin is utilized maximally as it is not diluted by bleeding from nasal mucosa and better coincides to early proliferative phase of wound healing which starts from four to five days of tissue injury. And uh, thus in conclusion, I can say this method is easy to perform with reliable and comparative results and it's no costly instruments can be used for mass surgery is cap as its anatomical success rate. My anatomical success rate is 99.2% and confident uh, CI, uh, CI 95% is 95.9 to 99.9%. Uh, so yeah, I can say this is not for them, but it is a boon for the masses because it is easy to, easy to do with a less expensive method. Uh, thank you, and I'm thankful to Javed Ali from LBPI and uh, Dhiran, my friend, ENT surgeon, and my aesthetician, Lokesh. Thank you. And these are the references. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, I have one question, sir. Uh, 
what was the, your inclusion criteria? Well, you have did this type of surgery only in the NLDO or CCB cases, common cranicular obstruction cases? Yeah, yeah. Sir, is it only nasolacrimal duct obstruction case make hai ya fir CCB common cranicular case uh, indicated hai? No, nasolacrimal duct obstruction mein. So, so the cranicular uh, obstruction mein nahi ho. Yes, sir. What was the most common cause of failure, sir, in your cases? Improper method. If you can make an ostium on improper, improper place, that is the most common method, most co common cause of failure. In my case, I just list. Okay, sir. Any question from our chairperson, sir? In your, it was in improper. In performance, it was superior, inferior, or inadequate? It may be, sir, uh, inadequate because the most of the time we get very uh, small ostium yes. or uh, in, on, uh, on just upper to the proper place, what should okay. be. You started all those uh, for a second sitting after how many months of failure? After six months. After six months. That is written in the slides. Okay. So, that I think it will be little difficult technically because the size, it may be inadequate location, but size generally is reduces significantly after six months. Up to 1.5, it may be 1.5 even. Uh, I have done many cases endoscopy too. I have, I do usually endoscopy and uh, at least uh, after four months, if it is fixed, it, is, it, it will go on. Maximum shrinkage on three to four months. Yes, yes. Maximum shrinkage on three to four months, I agree. But that's why that in, in my, some pieces or in books says there is a generally uh, location and scar. Those are the two factors for failure. There is a uh, in my view, a scarring is not a cause. Problem. Maybe improper, improper. Improper location. Yes. And yes. Thank, you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.